Okay, I have an idea. What if we take a truck and turn it into a monster truck? Truck. Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about some monster truck games on the GBA. Monster Truck Madness has some impressive visuals. It's 3D and an impressive 3D too. Things on screen are pretty detailed and the frame rate is good too. It's constant and smooth. Now that's some mighty optimization. Also monster trucks have basic damage effects, there are like two effects, one when the monster truck isn't damaged and one when it is. Tracks are filled with obstacles, ramps and bumps and aside of the looks, the game is an enjoyable racing game, but nothing impressive, it's pretty much the usual, you get a career, quick time and time attack. The game also has power-ups and they are pretty poorly balanced, they are either very strong or useless. Also a tiny detail is that the only music you get in the game is in the menu. In Rust there is no music, I guess the other files were too big for the cartridge to cram some more music. You get some sound effects but I guess there's only so much you can cram into a cartridge. After all the game has 10 trucks and 30 courses. That's impressive for a maximum of 32 megabytes. Anyway, the game is enjoyable. It doesn't offer much in quantity, but it offers a lot in quality. It's a racing game with mighty impressive graphics. It's a 3D GBA game that runs with a good frame rate, it runs smooth, and is enjoyable to play in short bursts. Monster Truck Madness 2006 is a game I can't find anymore, so I can't review it. I'm sorry. I can't remember how many tracks there are, no vehicles, no game modes, sorry. But from the recording it looks like a very choppy experience, so if you want to get it, think twice, it might be a bad one, judging from the recording. Monster Jam Maximum Destruction is a good game, but it doesn't offer enough in content it seems. Or how Game Informer puts it, there really isn't enough game here to justify a purchase. Or how IGN puts it, Monster Jam won't last more than a single sitting. Or how GameSpy puts it, it has extremely low replay value. Too bad, because the game itself is fun. It's a distraction derby. Power-ups are fairly balanced, controls are good, there's nothing wrong with the game mechanics. Only that the game doesn't offer a big variety of game mechanics. You get only two modes, Arcade and Championship, where you do the same thing in both. There are 16 monster trucks in total and by the start of the game you get only 4 and the game incentivizes you to try to unlock them, all 16 of them. Also trucks have stats and you can boost the stats in the garage. You get only 4 maps in the game, which isn't that much, but the maps are nicely designed with secret areas and cars to smash. It's true that having only vehicles to unlock as an incentive might not be that tempting. But still, I like the game. The gameplay is fun, it's nice that you can upgrade vehicles, monster trucks are plenty enough, some more maps and more game modes would have made the game much much better, but even as it is, I liked it. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.